have in front of me a two kilowatt oil filled radiator uh, with a um, timer and there's a total of nine fins on it. So it comes in this outer box here. So it just says clearly on it, it's a timer thing. There's an option here without a timer, so just to differentiate them. So this is how it comes exactly out of the, the box. So what we have here is a tiny bit of assembly work to do. So basically we have a base to go on here that would be held on by these two U-bolts. Uh, holds on each of the things and then we have four, four, four casters and what I've done here is I've just pre-assembled um, a unit here this is actually the simpler unit that doesn't have the timer on it we pre-assembled it for a previous video and you can just see the caster thing here putting on the base the U-bolts the four casters didn't need any tools but with it took me between one and two minutes okay extremely straightforward process so let's just look exactly what we're going to have here then so we've just imagined this is on the rollers, we're rolling it over and back. So what are the key features on it? Well, let's just come along and have a look here. We have our fins here, each filled with oil. And the big advantage of having the oil in it is that when it pu pulls in the heat, it'll retain it and release it over a slow period. So it becomes more like a storage heater as such. Convection heaters will be different, more instant heat, but then the second the heater goes off, the heat goes out of the entire uh, room. So when we come along then and we have, uh, we look here on these, we'll say that we have different settings here in terms of the switching here. So we have a thermostat on top, so we can set the setting where we want to have it low or high, and then do we want to have it at the three different settings in terms of the outputs. We can set it at the lowest bar, which is um, 750 watts, the next bar is 1250, and the final one then is um, both, um, both circuits on together, which would be a total of 2000, okay? So we come along, and then we have a timer here. And we've deliberately gone for a model here with a manual timer, simply because it's more intuitive, you don't need to read a manual, it's very straightforward. You twist it, you set it at the time, that's the current time, look at the arrow here to point down to it. You come along, you have the little switches here. So you push them in or out to decide whether you want it on or that. And there's a, sw a central switch here that allows us to come along and say, run it always on, always off, or on the timer setting. Um, then the actual power lead that comes with it, it's a three pin plug. It's one and a half meters long. And when we're finished with it, we can actually come along. I'll just quickly demonstrate it here. And there's a little storage space here. And it just means we can come along and we're going to store the plug like that, so we don't have a, a lead thing. So it's those little extra steps in terms of design thing that we particularly liked about the Sunbeam model here. So we're working directly with um, a large uh, Irish wholesaler who's bringing all these in directly, and um, our distributor. So we have products that are suitable for the Irish market, CE marked, everything like that, and ready to go. And it's part of a really exciting range of over a thousand electrical products that we're currently integrating and adding on to the freetv.ie website.